Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Clark and I'm going to show you how to round big numbers. Now, if you have this Google Sheets activity, you might see that there are tabs at the bottom. You might have 30 tabs, in which case you have to use these little arrows to navigate, or you might just have one tab, or you might just have 10 tabs, and that's just however many questions you have. So now let's actually take a look at one. You can see that I have all these different questions here in these pink boxes I'm going to fill out. But when you open it, if it looks kind of like this, that's normal. Every computer is a little different, so you might just have to change this zoom right here so that you can see everything on one page. Now you're going to be filling out the pink boxes. So you can see these, there's pink boxes on the number line, and then some down here. When you're finished, all these boxes should be green and if they're wrong they'll turn gray so then you fix them and turn them green and then a sticker will pop up too to show you that you're finished so let's actually round this one it says round the number 30,126 to the nearest 100 so first of all 100 is what we're working with so we need to identify what digit is in the hundredths place in this case it's the one so you're just going to click on this box and type the number one as your answer nothing happens until you click away so click literally anywhere else and now it changes colors green means it's correct gray incorrect if you're on an iPad, you're going to double tap on that box. That'll bring up your keyboard, then type, then tap somewhere else. So we're rounding to the nearest hundred, which means we're working with that one place. And then what's the next digit to the right? Because that's the digit that's actually going to determine whether we round up or down. I call it the power digit. In this case, it's a two. So there's a one in the hundreds place and a two in the tenths place. Just really good to identify that right off the bat. But when we're rounding, we can look at this two and say, that's a small number, it's less than five, we're gonna round down. But it's really kind of important to know what you're actually doing. You're taking this number, 30,126, and you wanna locate it between two benchmarks and see if it's closer to the bottom benchmark or closer to the upper benchmark. So we're either gonna be rounding down to 30,100 or we'd round up to 30,200. So let's fill in this number line. We have 100 and 200. Basically, you're counting by 10. So 110, 120, 130, all the way up to 200. But you have to put that 30 in front of it. So 30,110, 30,120, and so on and so forth. And there's even a little hint here that tells you to count up by tens. So since you have your hundreds on either end as your benchmarks, because we're rounding to hundreds, you're kind of trying to get between 100 and 200, so you count by tens. And really you're going between 30,100 up to 30,200. And these boxes turned green, which is how you know that they're correct. So if you're on the wrong track, it'll tell you right away. So now you can kind of see we're either rounding down to 30,100 or up to 30,200. And the question is, is this number closer to the lower benchmark, 100, or is it closer to the upper benchmark of 200? And then here is our middle mark, and that's where the 5 is. So we'd either round down to 30,100 or we'd round up to 30,200. It's important to identify that halfway point. Halfway point is always going to have a five because really you're just counting. You know, we counted by tens here um, from 110 up to 200. And so 150 would be the middle. And we're at 126, which is lower than the middle. So because it's 126, so it's a 126, remember that 2 in the tens place, that really is a smaller number than this. That means we're going to round down. So click and type the word down and click away. 
And so if you're rounding down, that means your answer is 30,100. Your answer is always going to be either this or this. If you're rounding down, you go down to this one. If you're rounding up, you go up to this one, and it's all determined by where this number is. If it's below the halfway point, you're rounding down, and if it's above the halfway point, you're rounding up. And what determines where it is along this number line is that power number, the second or the digit to the right. So we'll put in our final answer here. 30,150 or I should say 126, I'll fix that right now for you, so yours will be correct. 30,126 round to the nearest 100 is 30,100. And when you're all finished, see all these boxes are green, there's no pink, and there's a sticker that pops up. So that's how you round with Google Sheets and using this number line to visualize where this number is in space. So I hope this is helpful for you and that you have a good time practicing your rounding.